Good morning, everyone. We're taping early. Yeah. But will you, they will be seeing this in the afternoon. Yes. This is on April the uh, 16th, uh, 2000, uh, si April 16, 2016. Yes. And this is uh, 1030 in the morning when we're taping. And, and I'm, you're, you're looking at On the Rock. Yeah, On the Rock uh, and not on. Sink and Sand. I'm, I'm Reverend Dr. Evelyn Underwood and this is. I'm Dr. Bishop King James Underwood. And we are ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready because we're going into our program uh, this morning. Get your Bibles, get your Bibles, because uh, I'm excited, I'm excited. This has been Roger Ebert, Eberfest, and of course, as I always told you, Roger Ebert is at home in, with the Lord, but he and I and Bishop went to, graduated from Abana High School together way back in the day. <laughs> yes, he was my classmate. Yes, and we're having a wonderful time at Eberfest on this. I'm leaving here right away and going over there to uh, interact and react and all with the movies. Uh, so we're going to go to the Word of God here. St. Matthew's the 16th chapter, beginning at verse 13. Uh, and we are in the King James Version mm. of the Bible. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Here we are. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, mm -hmm. some Elias, mm -hmm. and others, Jeremiah, are one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art, art the, the Christ, Christ the, the Son of the, the living God. God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed Bless are thy, Simon Barjona, for flesh, flesh and blood hath not, not revealed it unto thee, thee but my, my Father, Father which is, is in heaven. heaven. And I and say also unto thee, thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not, shall not, shall not prevail against it. Thus read the word of God. Yes, yes. And God's word is blessed. And it's true. Yes, Lord. And this time we're going to have our psalmist, Bishop King James Underwood, come to you with uh, a song. Do would you do the Our Father's yes. Prayer first, and yes. then what other one more song? Because we want to get to uh, our scripture Amen. Uh, lesson today. Our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, <clears throat> thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and earth as it is. this day of a daily bread and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Oh, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory Father, prayer, 
I will be done, thy kingdom come. And we shall sing the next song, uh, Because He Lives I Can Face Tomorrow. God sent, sent His Son, ah. they call, yes, yes, yes. call Him Jesus, He came to love, heal and forgive, He bled. And he died to buy a pardon yeah. An empty grave is there to prove My Savior lives because he I can face tomorrow because he lives. My fear is gone. It's because I know God he holds. And the life is with the living death because he lives. How sweet to hold, hold a newborn baby. And feel the joy, the pride it gives, but it's greater still, is the calm assurance yes. yes. this child can face. Unsaid and days because he lives, because he lives, I can face tomorrow because he lives. My Fear is gone. Yes, yes, yes. It's because I know. I know. God, He holds the future, and life is much with the living just because He lives. Someday yonder, I will cross the river and find life's final, final bow to there, and then as death. Give the way to victory. Yes, yes, yes. I will see the light, the glory, and I know He lives because He lives. I can <coughs> face tomorrow. He lives, my fear is gone, it's 
because I know yes, yes. God he holds the future and the life is what the living gets because he lives because he lives yes. I can face tomorrow Amen. Yes, Lord. You know, audience and uh, uh, our viewing audience and our friends out there. Uh, and Bishop, we've been uh, saying that we were going to finish uh, talking about uh, uh, our program that we, the Ministerial Alliance, uh, had at First uh, Presbyterian Church where our uh, sister uh, uh, pastor, intentional pastor, uh, Deborah Owen, uh, uh, Pastor First Presbyterian Church in Urbana. Yes. We had wonderful, wonderful seven last words there, and we've talked about it, and we were going to finish the seven last words, but we promised that we were not going to rush this yes. because really the seven last words is part of the uh, Christian ministry. Yes. You know, that's so we don't have to rush that. No. Uh, we don't have to do it during resurrection time or Easter time. There's no, it's timeliness. There's no time limit on that. So we, uh, we've been doing a lot of other things. We've had a lot of ministers on uh, because we had uh, people scheduled to be on. Yes. And yes. so this time we, don't, we didn't have anyone scheduled in because we wanted to finish up. Uh, and we don't, we might not finish today, but when we have another time, we'll finish it then when yeah. we don't have a guest coming on. Oh, you're saying I'm the ram in the bush. Yeah, no, <laughs> you're, well, you're gonna, we're going to finish this and we're going to talk about it as we not have guests. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, we're going to go to that at yeah. this time, the seven last words. And we're going to begin with verse one. I mean, the first, uh, word. The first word. Yes. And the first word, and you take how long you want to, uh, and then we go to the second word. If we finish all seven today, fine. If not, we'll come back to it when we have another opening. <laughs> so it's all good anytime, yeah. uh, the words of Jesus Christ. And the first word uh, comes from St. Luke, the 23rd chapter, uh, verse 33 and 34. I could read all of it, but the gist of it is what he said was, Father, forgive them. And do you want me to read it all, or do you want to just go well, and talk about it? Well, you can give uh, public uh, Father, uh, forgive uh, them. St. Luke, the 23rd chapter, beginning at 33, and verse 33 and 34. St. Luke 23. St. Luke 23. St. Luke 23. I should have had it. St. Luke 20, I didn't know if you would want me to read it. Uh, it shouldn't take me long, I'm right here. St. Luke 23, uh, 34, 33 and 34, 23, 33 and 34. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him, and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Mm. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. Essentially, Father, forgive them. Father, it's in yellow, know. I mean, it's in red. Father, forgive yeah. them, for they, for know, they not. know not what they do. That's yeah. Jesus speaking. Yes, and that was the first word, and uh, we can realize what Jesus was saying there uh, in his dying declaration that he was saying to the Father, forgive them, because uh, in his teaching on earth, he taught we for, we're supposed to forgive men of their sin and their trespass, and how, how, how more readily than him to show example of forgiveness, mm -hmm. and, and when when it seemed like that the ultimate thing is happening, when the worst thing is happening, that that you can uh, 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 forgive and, and and let God, what be be in control. 
So Jesus uh, uh, on the cross when they was crucifying him hmm. and driving nails in his hand and nails in his feet saying, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And, 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 and it goes back to the, even the, that night when they, when they had him in the Sanhedrin courts and they slapped him and spit in his face and pulled out his beard and, 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 and mocked him and, 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 and scourged him. And uh, he, he said he forgave all those people who did all this stuff and those that were driving the nail in hand, he forgave them. But he said, they don't know what they're doing. Mm. Because they don't know they're doing what is required to be done. That's why I come to the world, to, 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 to suffer, to bleed, and die yeah. for the salvation of the world. I'm dying for them, and for they, that they might be free. And they don't realize that they are, they are trying to destroy the one that's come to save them from mm -hmm. their sin. They don't realize that I'm the savior of the world, and I'm allowing this to happen, that men can be saved. I'm taking the punishment of man that, and paying the price that man cannot pay, mm -hmm. that they, they might be redeemed from sin. So, so Jesus was, was, was paying the ultimate price but they didn't know it. They mm. thought they were just killing another person. Mm. <laughs> they didn't know they was killing the king, king of king and the Lord of lords. They didn't know that they was trying to kill him. They didn't kill, really kill him. He laid his life down. Laid it down. And he picked it up again. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The second word, mm. St. Luke, the 23rd chapter, 39 through 43. 23rd, 39 through 43. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answered, answering rebuked him saying, Dost not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of well, our deeds. Yeah. But this man hath, hath done, done nothing. nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, and this is the second word. Yes. Verily I say unto thee, today shall, shall thou be, be with, with me, me in, in paradise. paradise. So Hallelujah. the second word is, today shall thou be with me in paradise. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus was hanging there on the cross and uh, he had one thief on the right and one on the left. And it was fulfilled that was written in the book of the Psalms before Jesus had even uh, been born, that he was numbered with the transgressors, that this scripture might be fulfilled. Jesus was fulfilling the scripture and the fulfillment of the law. So Jesus, Jesus went through these things that the, that the scriptures that had been written before him may be manifested, the words that God had given the prophets to write of him, that it might be fulfilled. He was numbered with the transgressors because one thief was on the right and one on the left. So he was numbered with them, even though he was righteous and did no sin, that he was numbered with the sinners. And, and not only that, but you can see as Jesus was hanging there on the cross that, that one of the thieves was still in his rebellious hmm. spirit and, uh, and, and instead of uh, realizing that, 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 that he was being put to death, but he was railing on Jesus, talking about, come off the cross if you be Jesus, come off and save, you, save yourself and us. And that one realized the dearty of Christ, and he repented of his sin, and he was saved because Jesus, Jesus looked over at him and not, not, not only saved him, but he said, this day, this day. shall thou be with me in paradise, mm. this day. Not tomorrow, not later on, but this day, because you repented of your sin, and he was saved there on the cross. Wow. No matter where you are, you can be saved if you believe and, 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 and do according to the will of God and his word. You shall be saved. Yes, Lord. He yes. didn't have time to be baptized. No. 
Yes, he was, people get out. Uh, if you have time, ta he was ahead. baptized already because he was baptized with, with, with the Holy Ghost and fire from Jesus. <laughs> uh, and, and the water baptism is a symbol that that has taken place. That's Thank what the water Jesus. baptism symbolizes. You, the, the death of Jesus, when you go down in the water, it's being buried. And when you rise up, it's supposed to be in the newness of life that you have, have put on Christ. That's what the water baptism symbolizes. Amen. The third word is St. John, the 19th chapter, verses 26 and 27. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, and this is in red, Yes. Woman, behold thy son. Mm -hmm. Then saith then saith he to the disciple in red, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home. So the third word was woman. Behold, behold thy, thy son, son, dot, 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 son, Beho son behold, behold thy, thy mother. mother. In other words, Jesus in his, in, in, hanging on the cross and, and, and knowing that his mother needed to be cared for, looked at the disciple that leaned over on his breast at supper and, and, and the, the, the loved disciple John and said, Son, behold thy mother. I'm putting it a little backwards. And mother, behold thy son, that, that, that he was leaving his mother in charge of his beloved disciple to take care of his mother when, when he would not be there, that, that, that this disciple knew what Jesus was saying. And from, uh, and from that hour, that disciple took Mary, Jesus' mother, into his house and cared for her because Jesus had given him the responsibility. Mm. Mm. Mother, behold thy son. Mm, mm, mm. Son, behold thy mother. He joined them both together as mother and son. And, 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 and that was that, that the scripture might be fulfilled that was written. Thank you, Lord. The fourth word, St. Mark 15, 34. Mm. St. Mark 15, 34. Mm. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabbatani, which is being interpreted, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The fourth word. Yes. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Jesus, in his agony, hanging on the cross, he cried out because he felt the, the separation from the Father, which had never happened before. Jesus was here with the Father at creation, and he had been with them throughout the ages. And when he came to earth uh, 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 as the Savior of the world, Je Jesus had the Father with him. He always talked about the Father, and the Father was with him, and then, then he Thank the Father that he had, 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 had kept those things secret mm. from the rise and revealed them unto babes. And he, he had communication and fellowship with his Father. But on the cross, he had taken on the sins of the world, and God mm. hates mm. sin. And he couldn't look on his Son in that sinful state because the Son had become sin for us to deliver us from sin, even though it was a temporary, what? separation, Jesus knew that that feeling that he was, the Father was with him was no longer there because the Father had, what, taken him for a little while until, until the sin, sin had, had, had been, been done, paid. Yes, Lord. So, so Jesus cried with a loud voice, letting the world know that, that he was being separated from the Father and that the Father uh, was separated from him for a moment. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So, 
the moral of the story is, mm -hmm. what can you tell the people about Jesus? We're going to do the last two words the next time. We're going to stop with the fourth word. Yes. The, the what I can tell the people is that we have an awesome God. Jesus was King of King and Lord of Lords. He was in heaven with his Father, sitting on a throne, yes, and he, he took was. off his royalty, took off his royal robe, and come down as, 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 as what? As a savior of the world, he yes. came in the lowest state. He didn't come as a conquering king, but he come as lowly servant that that everybody ha, 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 can reach him. Not not that it's only the rich. If he had to come as a conquering king, the rich would have would have would have pushed the poor out. But he come as, as a as a poor man that the that the poor would have in him relationship. Yes, Lord. To, to say that he, uh, because uh, you can see that uh, when he was born in Bethlehem of Judea, that, that the angels came uh, and, 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 and told the shepherds that he's born, and they made haste and went to see Jesus. Had he been born as a conquering king, the, the shepherd would not have, have even had access to, to, to come to be a part uh, of the celebration of the birth of the king. So Jesus came through 42 generations. Yes, Jesus. Suffered the hand, at the hand of men, being, being slapped and abused mm. by men and, and, and persecuted and lied on mm. and, and then taken to, to the Gentiles to, to be crucified. And, 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 and Jesus did all this. He humbled himself unto death that we might be saved from death. He allowed himself to be swallowed up in death, that death, that, that he could escape from death. And if we follow him, then we too will escape from death because he is the first fruit and he is the pattern that's set for us that will take us from earth to glory. So if you take him as your personal savior, you don't have to die in your sin and be lost eternal because Jesus has already paid the price for your deliverance. Yes, All you have to do is accept Christ, believe in him as the scripture says, and ye shall be saved. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Elders Hattie Polk always says, yeah. uh, ABC, accept, believe, and confess. Amen. You confess your sins, first believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, and accept what he's already done. He's already done it. Yeah. Just accept the work he's done. Mm -hmm. Believe it in your heart. When you got to confess with your mouth. Mm. And you shall be saved. Get in a Bible-believing church. And get ready to go back with him. Because what? God is a good God. Yes, he is. God is a good God. Yes, he is. 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 I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about. What he done for me? Made a vow to the Lord, and I won't take it back. Made a vow to the Lord, and I won't take it back. Made a vow to the Lord, and I won't take it back. Made a vow to the Lord, and I won't take it back. Lord, help me keep this vow, and I won't take it back. Lord, help me keep this vow, and I won't. Take it back. Was a whole holy vow. And I won't take it back. Was a whole holy vow. And I won't take it back. Lord, help me keep this vow. And I won't take it back. Lord, help me keep this vow. And I won't take it back. We love you. We'll see you next week. See you and next keep week. keep that vow you make to the Lord. And children, adults, and all, we're going to need Jesus. But you know what? He wants to be there for you. Amen, amen, and amen. And we love you. But most importantly, Jesus loved you best. Amen. See because you next he, week. nobody gave as much as he gave to show his love towards us. 
Amen. Nobody did what Jesus did. He did it all for you and me. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus.